This is a Juice Leak team. I'm going to show you how to bypass iTunes or Source Screen um, after a jailbreak using Black Rain. So this is when users reported that they can't boot. Um, when they restart their device, it takes them to this iTunes screen you can see here, and they can't get past it. They have to either restore it or use Black Rain to restart their iPod, okay, or iPhone. Okay, so this is a tutorial, and it's for advanced users. So this is for the people who are a bit more experienced using Windows computers. There's also a Mac version application I've got. Um, in a download you'll see shortly. So when you go on to www.myspace.com forward slash juice leak, just go on to that. And that's where you can download the package drivers. And this is going to help you start the package. Okay, so if you copy and paste, I want you to drag over the text, the link, and copy that and put it into a new tab and paste it into the state as well. Okay, and then go. If you do it through MySpace, just click in it, MySpace will, will block it. Okay. Um, now scroll down to the bottom and you'll see you click here, just download the application and save it onto your desktop and extract it. You can extract that now onto your desktop again. You'll see three icons now appear. At the top you've got the uh, Juice Leak application and at the bottom the last one um, with the computer and the disk that is the uh, USB library. That can be downloaded from anywhere and that's just a USB reader. So it lets you go in input into devices. Okay, so now what we want to do is copy and paste that juice, le juice leak application that you saw and put it in your documents, um, documents and settings, and that's in your username. Okay, so just drag it and drop it into there. As you can see, that's with you can see my documents folder, the start menu, the desktop folder. So it's it's the collapse of that. Okay, so drop it into there. You know what? I want you to. Now run the USB library application, the one which is circled, you can see on the screen. Okay, if you now double click that and run that. Okay. Now you'll see the dialogues come through. Okay, just go next, 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 all the way through that. That'll just install the application. Yeah, so run test application. Now just leave that ticked, and this box will now appear. Um, just refresh it, and then just leave that open. Okay, now that's that's that will give you the details of your USB. Basically, all that's telling you is whereabouts your USB is. Okay, it's going to tell you what the ID is of the device, what the device name is. Okay, I've also got in here a generic card reader, so that's um, just a memory stick reader. You can see that that's appeared in there as well. So it's all USB stuff. Okay, so now I want you to open Command Prompt, which is going to start you off with the application. Okay, so you now open Command Prompt. It's in all programs, accessories, and then click Command Prompt. Open that, and it's a black screen you'll now see. It's, it's like an MS DOS kind of thing. Okay? You see that now? Come up. Okay, now you need to reopen the window where you say that Juice Leak application in your documents. Okay? And you're now going to grab that Juice Leak application. You can see it there. Okay, you're going to pop it, drag it straight on top of the black screen, right into that um, Command Prompt. And that's going to enable us to run the application quickly. Okay, so now you'll see the text just appear. And I want you to click next to the end of it, the .exe, the end of that. Just press enter. Okay, so that's pretty easy. You've done that, and now you'll see a little text. Now, now a load of text has appeared, and it's good. you can read it. It's going to take way to do, but you need to type exactly what I say now. I juice leak .exe space dash s. Right. You need to make sure you put the one in there in the juice leak, otherwise it won't run. Okay, so now you need to enter that, and a lot of commands will now appear. And the bottom one is going to say recovery iPhone dollar sign. Okay, this is the start. So you need to type in that set nev um, true auto boot. If you now type that in, now now you've typed that in, you now will get next dialog come along recovery iPhone again. This time you need to type in save. E N V and then press enter again. Okay, what that's gonna do is save the settings. So basically what you're doing you are entering into your device um, and basically the, the auto be was set to false beforehand. You now set it to true and now it shouldn't go into restore mode. Okay? So follow that through. You're now gonna type in slash forward slash exit and that's gonna exit the USB. Okay? Once you've exited that 
your device should now be ready. Okay, so all I need to do now is close the command prompt and press the power button and the home button together for 10 seconds. Hold that and you'll see it reboot and it should now go straight past the um, restore logo and straight to lock screen. Okay, and that is done. It shouldn't come up again. Good luck.